Hello everyone, welcome to Lukman IS. Today we are going to have the Hindu analysis of 20, 20th February 2021. So let us see which are the important articles in today's the Hindu newspaper. Yes, these are the important articles uh, for men's purpose and for prelims purpose. Not many articles related to our men's examination, one editorial and many such articles related to prelims examination. So let us understand uh, what is there in these articles briefly taking over you and then going into details. So first article on editorial page defamation as crime. So the context of the article is recent uh, the Supreme Court judgment uh, regarding the defamation case by MJ Akbar on uh, journalist Priya Ramani. So here uh, she has been acquitted uh, in that particular case and the progressive judgment has been given by Supreme Court. So here in this article uh, uh, it is very important to understand what do you mean by defamation, what is civil defamation, what is criminal defam defamation and what are the legal provisions are there. So here in this particular section uh, we will talk and understand, try to understand these provisions, legal provisions and Supreme Court judgments regarding defamation. Then for prelims examination, Indian IT workers to benefit from US immigration bill. So one particular uh, bill has been put before the US Congress and which seeks to provide or uh, remove the pre-country quota for H-1B visas and different types of visa at the same time those who are dependent on H-1B visa uh, workers. Uh, the, the <coughs> they are also uh, to be provided employment in US. So what are the, these different types of visas? This is important for prelims examination because in last one year almost it has been in news because the earlier president has uh, let's say uh, stopped all those visa, visa issuing in that uh, COVID-19 pandemic time period. Okay, so uh, this is important for our prelims examination. NASA's Perseverance rover touchdown on Mars. So on page number one there is one photo that has been taken by this NASA's Perseverance rover. Uh, which had touched down recently on surface of Mars. So what is this Mars 2020 mission of NASA and which is this rover and what is the significance of it? Okay, so from science and technology perspective, we will go into detail. Northern Tamil skeptical ahead of another Geneva session. So here the Geneva session, it is talking about the UNHRC session. Okay, so uh, now uh, UNHRC session is to be uh, uh, begin in next week and there one of the resolution related to the war crimes that may have happened because of government or such other groups in Sri Lanka uh, during the civil war. So here we will talk about the UNHRC from prelims perspective international organizations. Then army rescues 447 tourists from Nathula. So from geography mapping part it is very important to understand different passes of Himalayan region as well as Western Ghat region for our uh, for prelims examination this is very important aspect so on the map we will here try to understand which are these passes of Himalayan region and Western Ghat region okay so this is from mapping uh, section we can say geography then four PLA soldiers died in Galwan China so recently the China China accepted that uh, during that Galwan conflict that happened in June month 2020. So uh, uh, in that conflict 20 uh, soldier, Indian soldiers died. Now the China has accepted that four such soldiers of its army had died during that conflict. Okay, so what is this Galwan Valley region that we have to uh, locate here on that map. So again geography mapping part. Okay, so within uh, these articles we will also look into some of the prelims MCQ and in the end some important captions. Now, going into details of all these articles, first defamation as crime, the editorial page, uh, important editorial article related to polity and social justice perspective. So, a very progressive judgment has been given by Supreme Court here and it has said that <coughs> or it has acquitted uh, journalist Priya Ramani in the defamation case that has been uh, or the uh, she has been charged of defaming MJ Akbar, the former union minister, journalist and writer. Okay, so uh, why it is called as progressive judgment? We have to understand that uh, some of the important issues involved here that <coughs> uh, 
uh, this defamation kind uh, that is uh, there which acts as a one of the important uh, restriction for freedom of speech and expression under fun, uh, fundamental right under article 19 of indian constitution so here the judgment especially is related to women empowerment and uh, women equality and protecting women from sexual harassment at workplace so basically this was the case uh, for sexual harassment by mj akbar towards priya ramani and other one of the female colleague journalist okay and uh, their views have been accepted by the supreme court in this particular case and uh, it has given certain arguments what are these arguments first and foremost it is saying that the right to right of reputation cannot be protected at the cost of a right to uh, have the digni dignified and respectful respectful life okay so here the right to reputation in a sense we can understand that particular right cannot be equated with the right to dignity and respect so uh, this is uh, more important as compared to right to reputation that means here right to reputation right to life and dignity of this particular journalist women journalist and she has been accusing uh, this person mj akbar of sexual harassment that means here right to reputation of this person is in context we can say okay so the judgment here it talks about that uh, the right to reputation cannot be protected in case of at the cost of right to uh, life with dignity and respect so this right to life and dignity it is given in article 21 of indian constitution okay the second argument important argument it is saying that whenever there is sexual harassment of women at workplace or anywhere we can say that she has right to speak about it at any platform any time okay even after 20 years of incidence so uh, this is this is uh, what the second argument it is talking about women has right to put her grievances at any platform of her choice even after uh, many such years okay that does not mean that incident did not happen okay so uh, this is very important uh, let's say argument given and third argument it is say it is said that there is a, a need of uh, providing women with equality social security safety uh, and dignity at work for them to flourish and uh, let's say uh, achieve their professional goals at workplace okay so these are the arguments which are provided in this particular judgment at the same time uh, the article here editorial article it is saying that this particular criminal defamation uh, that provision that is given in our indian law under uh, section 499 of ipc indian penal code okay so this is this has been uh, misused from time to time there are many such issues involved in that criminal defamation uh, kind of provision in our indian laws so let us try to understand what are these issues yes so what do you mean by defamation defamation by definition we can say that uh, uh, having such kind of communication or we can say message which harms the reputation of the person not only person any organization any group of people any product or we can say that <coughs> government religion or nation also okay so uh, we can say that this false statement that harms the reputation of all this so uh, defamation is one of the reasonable restriction that is provided in uh, article 19 okay so fundamental right and in that uh, there is one fundamental right freedom of speech and expression for that purpose defamation is one of the reasonable restriction okay so uh, we can understand that uh, that has been from time to time invoked by the government to shun the opposition or those voices which are against its policies and its decisions from time to time okay so uh, this is one of the issue but yes tr let us try to understand the legal provisions what are the legal provisions in india uh, the defamation can be of uh, civil nature or civic nature or we can say criminal nature and it depends on we can say uh, what kind of let's say the person needs uh, in the end or after such allegations for example suppose i am the person who is 
uh, having the allegations against the another person but they are of civic nature that means uh, the, the final judgment by the uh, let's say court can be pro uh, can be such that it is not having any penal provisions or imprisonment per se we can say it it can be uh, let's say for compensation provided and it can be satisfying however when we talk about the criminal uh, defamation here uh, there is a specific provision in our laws section 499 of indian penal code specifically uh, defines the offenses of criminal defamation and section 500 of ipc specifically talks about the impri imprisonment for uh, after conviction for criminal defamation that may extend to two years of imprisonment with fine or with both okay so uh, this is this is the provision under indian laws and what are the issues involved here so issues involved here is that one of the major issue is that uh, this has been used from time to time as a mean for harassment. Okay, harassment in a sense uh, we can understand whenever any uh, let's say the person who is at the higher state uh, uh, we can say status in the society or stature suppose a political leader is there, actor is there or those person who are at responsible position in the society generally what happens is uh, the other people who are having some disagreement with those they use such kind of uh, let's say a provision of criminal defamation from time to time to harass them okay so uh, yes it can be said that many such false uh, let's say harassment cases defamation cases have been there the second important issue is that it curbs the fundamental right to freedom of speech and expression to some extent we can understand that because it is provided in our in constitution itself as a reasonable restriction these reasonable restrictions were added in our indian constitution through first uh, amendment act okay to our indian constitution and these uh, it includes defamation also okay along with other provisions and <clears throat> yes to some extent this can be understood however the third important issue here is that the state that is the government has been from time to time using this defamation uh, provision especially the criminal defamation provision to shun the voices of uh, the opposition political parties and their leaders and even journalists who criticizes the government policies okay so this is very important issue here we have to understand and lastly it also uh, we have to understand that whatever the cases that have been filed for civic or criminal defamation due to poor state of our criminal justice system what happens is these cases uh, go on lingering in the judiciary or, or we can say our courts so uh, this is uh, itself is a kind of punishment suppose a, uh, suppose a woman has been sexually harassed uh, at workplace and she she files the defamation case in our judiciary now you can understand the 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 kind of let's say trauma she is facing and uh, the, the justice is delivered after so many years to her okay and it may not also so this is the trauma uh, that she faces or any other such person faces because of uh, let's say lack of strong criminal justice system Okay, so these are the important issues involved in this defamation kind of cases. What is the view of judiciary, especially the top uh, judiciary Supreme Court? So, uh, ju judiciary consider itself uh, 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 this particular law or legal provision and it has upheld these provisions in many such judgments. Recent one in 2014 in Subramanyam Swami versus Union of India case in 2014 supreme court has upheld section 499 and 500 which provides for criminal defamation it has upheld those provisions and uh, yes surely we can understand because it is given in our constitution itself however uh, there are many such uh, uh, arguments uh, which uh, says that uh, from we have just understood these issues from this it is uh, surely understood that uh, civic defamation is fine but criminal defamation cases should go away okay so yes surely there should be tolerance on the criticism of the government or any such person uh, at the responsible position in the society they should be tolerant towards their criticism ultimately we can say about that
fine okay so there can be question uh, uh, especially uh, regarding defamation especially if you are talking about the criminal defamation in gs2 paper polity part fine second now prelims related articles indian it workers to benefit from us immigration bill now <clears throat> we have to understand the context here is that us citizenship act of 2021 now this particular bill is presented before us congress uh, this us congress is now going to look into this bill and if passed it is going to have a certain important provisions uh, let's say or we can uh, certain important benefits for indian such uh, professional workers especially it professional who are largely h1b visa holders okay so what this particular bill seeks to do it seeks to provide the citizenship to 11 million undocumented such workers those workers who come from other countries for a specific work highly skilled work semi skilled work in those countries at the same time it also seeks to provide work authorization for dependents of h1b visa this is very important okay why because uh, earlier last year the previous president has uh, let's say added such provisions or suspended h1b visas reduced the pre country uh, this pre country quota for employment based green cards so all these provisions are going to reverse now this is beneficial for india because largely all these h1 visa uh, visa workers it professionals are from india so indian uh, let's say professional workers are going to benefit from this provision now for our examination purpose prelims purpose we this is very important types of visas issued by us citizenship immigration services so there are different categorization like h1b visas for skilled workers which are often used by industries especially it industries then l visas so there is l1 visa l2 visa also so what are these for executives managers specialized workers being transferred within a company so suppose there is a company and it's one of the office is there in other company suppose there is now transfer of that particular employee uh, within the us okay and in that company so uh, for that purpose l1 visa is given and l2 visa is for their dependents okay then h2b visa for seasonal workers so there can be seasonal workers especially the construction industry or specific industry uh, so for seasonal workers h2b visa is there then j visas so j visa or j1 visa we have to understand that it is provided to all those which are involved in the exchange programs so exchange program can be for interns scientists teachers counselors or summer program for students okay so this is the exchange programs teacher exchange program student exchange program intern exchange program right so this is for uh, uh, we can say j visas are for those even including cultural exchange what are h4 visas h4 visas are family members for family members especially the spouses and the children below 21 ye uh, years for the, uh, uh, for them of h1b visa holders okay so the those it professional we were talking about the largely who are indians their spouses and their children below 21 years of age uh, for them h4 visa is given okay so these are the important categories of visas so there can be match the following type of question like this okay so here you can see what kind of question we have uh, prepared match the following h1b visa for skilled workers yes this is correct h2b visa for seasonal workers yes this is also correct j1 visa for family members of dependent on skilled workers no this is incorrect why because j1 visa or j type of visas are for exchange program cultural exchange student exchange teacher interns and family of uh, family members of dependent for so that is h4 visa just now we talked about this h4 visa j visa so answer should be here 1 and 2 such kind of question surely may be asked uh, specifically if we are talking about this particular issue okay types of visas next now there is one photo this photo on front page of the hindu newspaper 
right so here it is talking about the shadow of nasa's perseverance rover is seen on the surface of mars as it lands on the planet so important for us what is this perseverance rover of uh, nasa probe that has been sent so this is the mars 2020 mission this is the mars 2020 mission and this has been by nasa's mars exploration program now this was launched in 2020 july 2020 now this is called as july was called as july 2020 was called as mars window what is this mars window this particular time period was uh, let's say uh, useful for launching these mars missions why because mars was coming near to earth during that time okay for that purpose we can say that this was called as mars window and therefore other such mars missions launched in july 2020 including hope by uae and tianwen 1 by china so this was earlier we discussed in the hindu newspaper and tianwen 1 by china so in july 2020 there were three such mars missions launched one by usa that is mars 2020 it had the perseverance rover and robotic helicopter ingenuity robotic helicopter ingenuity okay so uh, the second one hope by uae and tianwen by china three such now what is the significance of this perseverance rover it will investigate the surface of geological processes and history of mars including the assessment of past habitability so it will search for water if there is there was water earlier on the mars and also the geological aspects at the same time it will look for potential biosignatures now what do you mean by biosignature so biosignatures that means those signs on the celestial bodies which may have or we signify that there can be life on those planet or there has been life on those planet these are called as biosignatures right so surely uh, this is important information for our prelims examination from science and technology perspective as earlier also uh, we have said that space missions space missions by all important uh, let's say international space agencies like we can say nasa is there jaxa is there of japan then we can talk about <coughs> european space agency is there nasa Oh, sorry nasa is there then isro of india then of china french uh, space agency all these are important their important space probes which are in news for last two years now last two years uh, they should be prepared for our examination surely there can be question related to such important missions fine Okay, moving on to next article, Nadan Tamil skeptical ahead of another Geneva session. So here the context of the article, it is talking about that people are skeptical about the UN resolution, especially in, uh, 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 related to uh, war crimes that may have happened during the civil war in Sri Lanka. Right, so UNHRC uh, 46 session is to be held in next week and such UN resolution is going to be uh, let's say analyzed and looked into and voted upon in that particular session. So what is UN Human Rights Council? So earlier 15 days earlier uh, uh, in the Hindu again there was news regarding UNHRC. So what was that related to? It was related to that US is willing to come back as a member or become the member of UNHRC. Right, so at that time also we had talked about this UNHRC as an international grouping. So as we know that in prelims examination, all these important UN organs and international organizations, international groups are important for prelims examination. So basics about UNHRC. This is intergovernmental organization of United Nations specifically task for promotion and protection of human rights all over the world. Now it is 47 member body. 47 member body and these 47 members are elected by UNGA, United Nations General Assembly and they are having the 
term of three years at the same time there is provision that no such member can have more than two consecutive terms okay so this is specific provision what is the headquarter office of united nation at geneva switzerland right and there is one specific uh, let's say uh, about this unhrc that is universal periodic review universal periodic review upr here basically unhrc passes non binding resolution on human rights issues through a periodic review of all 193 un member states called as upr so whenever there is question suppose for practice purpose there is question like this universal periodic review the term sometimes appear in news is related to which of the following international organization so what is this organization unhrc you may get confused about world bank imf unep okay so because it can be universal review of anything it can be in economic terms in it can be in environmental terms so you need to know specifically that it is related to unhrc okay moving on next article army rescues 447 tourist from nathula yes surely nathula pass okay la means pass actually in hili uh, let's say language or those people who are living there local people uh, they call it as pass okay so nathula and jelepla these are two important mountain passes of sikkim so mountain passes of himalayas and then western ghats they are of importance for our prelims examination so let us try to understand their locations from jammu kashmir first and then we will move like this so in jammu kashmir banihal pass very important because on this particular banihal pass there is national highway which connects jammu to srinagar jammu to srinagar right at the same time here there is particular tunnel that is located that is named as jawahar tunnel passing through banihal pass then there is jojila pass burzilla pass aghil pass in this particular region then karakoram pass is there khardungla pass then there is important baralachala pass rohtang pass and shipkila pass okay so these are important passes of himachal pradesh now okay Uh, we have to understand uh, locations here rohtang pass baralacha pass very important for connecting himachal pradesh directly to ladakh connecting himachal pradesh to ladakh uh, bypassing jammu and kashmir region this region okay then lipu lake this was in news recently because uh, this particular lipu lake has border trade post with china at the same time this is the tri junction between india china and nepal it was in news because of border dispute between india and nepal over this lipu lake limpia dhura and <coughs> kalapani region that triangular piece on the uh, uttarakhand state of the uttarakhand state right so it was it was uh, in news last year so it may be asked in examination border trade post is there lipu lake then coming to the northeast region in sikkim we have nathula and jelepla connecting to tibet region of china tibet region of china then we have this bomdila pass bumla tangla and dihang okay so these are passes of arunachal pradesh including this dipu now this connects to myanmar and these are connecting to china okay so these are the important passes of himalayas then the important passes of uh, you can say western ghat thal ghat in maharashtra bhor ghat in maharashtra pal ghat in kerala now this pal ghat is important uh, let's say gap we can say that it is a gap between uh, within the uh, mountain range of western ghat so here uh, on the northern side of pal ghat we have nilgiris nilgiri mountain and the junction we can say that of uh, western ghat and eastern ghat and on the southern side we have agastamalai hills agastamalai hills 
okay and then the cardamom hills as an extension of these western ghats okay so palghat is very important borghat and thalghat important uh, we can say uh, <coughs> connecting points between the western maharashtra and the plateau region here and important railway lines and roads connects this konkan region and mumbai region to the peninsular uh, uh, deccan plateau region and those cities like pune thane right so yes these these are important passes uh, we can talk about this asirgarh pass is particularly we can say that in satpura region and satpura mountain ranges like this here <coughs> okay so these are important mountain passes or those regions this goram ghat is in aravallis you can see the location of aravallis like this right aravalli mountains so yes surely these are the important locations there can be question in prelims examination either uh, they can be asking about uh, linking with other international bound uh, state or uh, nation or the locations in particular state of india fine oh. now four pla soldiers died in galwan china so for the first time china accepted that their soldiers died in that galwan valley conflict that happened in first week of may okay sorry not first week of may we will say that the 15th june that happened it started in the first week of may the tensions in that region and the conflict happened on 15th june 2020 you can remove this okay so galwan valley so galwan valley is the located here at this particular point this is in galwan river okay and this galwan river is tributary of <coughs> we can say shok river galwan river is tributary of shok river and shok river is in turn tributary of indus river so in this manner you have to remember it very important galwan river which enters into india from this uh, or we can say that from the aksai chin region and uh, across the lac in india joins shok river and then shok river ultimately joins indus river so locations last year they have asked in prelims examination a uh, location of uh, this uh, siachen glaciers right so ladakh region has been in news continuously from to, uh, north to south again we will repeat the locations here karakoram pass then daulatbeg oldi and then we have depsang plains not to south we are going here then we have galwan valley region then we have hot springs region and then north bank and south bank of pongang so lake okay yes so uh, geographically from north to south south to north there can be question on those uh, let's say flash points along lac here okay fine yes and then one more news was there about 35th foundation day of arunachal pradesh state so yes from miscellaneous point of view and from polity you need to know some background that is reorganization of states so uh, here you have to understand arunachal pradesh earlier was known as northeast frontier agency including assam region also so it was formed nefa was formed in 1954 and then later on it was given the union territory status under this particular act in 1971 and later on it was converted into state by state arunachal pradesh act 1986 and founded as separate state on 20th february 1987 this is the 35th foundation day of arunachal pradesh some basic information about it it has border with assam and nagaland yes surely we know about this uh, if, if you can imagine the map so map of arunachal pradesh like this so here this is particular location of arunachal pradesh right so here there is assam and the, here we can say that there is nagaland okay and internationally it has border with bhutan so here we have bhutan here we have china and here we have myanmar right 
so in this manner you need to know that which state has border with which international uh, nations also capital itanagar and ethnically uh, very diverse state biologically rich biologically uh, we can say diverse state it has a very rich bio diversity in that region which is protected by these ethnic tribes living in that region what are these tribe like monpa is there naga and then tai okay so all these tribal people in that region they uh, themselves are involved in protecting this biodiversity in region okay the basic information about arunachal pradesh okay and lastly important captions and quotations so the first article that we talked about here defamation case especially the arguments were given for protecting women and women's right right so you can use these articles or sorry statements directly as a judgment of supreme court uh, here <coughs> in essay paper social justice part gs2 and society part gs1 right so try to use such good statement which are given by uh, supreme court in the judgment itself because they are a very progressive statement very important statement that can be used in your answers fine yes so <clears throat> these were important articles from today's the hindu newspaper if you have uh, let's say understood all these issues then uh, surely you can like this video uh, comment uh, your view on this particular video and subscribe to our channel for further information on editorial discussion classes or ed classes wherein in depth analysis of mains related issues and articles is done by ansari sir and team you can contact lukman is thank you